Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to show you how to do this calyx bed with a totally usable space underneath. I have done this as a short but some people were having a few issues so I talk about them in this video because I don't have enough time when doing a short because I only have one minute. So this is a little bit more in depth. The first thing you want to do is actually use the platform tool. It's best to do when it's not in a room at first because there's some issues if you do a room first and then put the platform tool in it. So I'm going to go ahead with the platform tool to start with. And then I'm going to go in with my shelves. And the reason for this is uh, you want to make sure you get the correct height of the platform. So I'm grabbing my shelf. This one is from Dream Home Decorator. The other one you can use is one from high school years. That one works pretty well. And you can use these like cupboardy ones, which are also from Dream Home Decorator. But these square cubby ones work really, really well. And I haven't found a base game, one that works quite as well, so do bear that in mind. So I'm just going to do three on top of each other. This works if you want a child to go underneath. You would have to do it higher if you want an adult to be able to fit underneath and taller walls, obviously. But we just want these here so we can match this up to the same height as this. So I'm just going to match it up. That looks about right. So the next thing I like to do is actually paint the platform. Which is if you go to where the walls are and go down to the bottom one, you'll get platform trims. And the reason for that is because certain trims, trims are thicker than others. You can see this one, it's a lot thinner and you're wanting to line this one up with it. So I do your trim at first. Now I'm just going to go ahead and line this up. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm doing a two by three depending on where you want your opening to be you would you change it up like if you wanted the opening at the end you wouldn't do these down this side you just do them all along the side go ahead and grab the bed i want to use now um and this is the reason you want to put your bed in before you put your walls up is because if you don't your bed sometimes just drops through the platform it's really bizarre if it's not in a room it you can do this and look you can see it doesn't drop off till right at the end so i'm just gonna place this on here you want to make sure it's far enough across the sim you can get up i'm just placing it here for now but we might have to slightly alter it soon right next thing i want to do is grab um more of these shelves and i am doing a three by three and i you need to place this one first but depending on which way you do it you want to place the first cube furthest away from these so if you had these the other side you'd want to place it here the reason for that is is if you just did like the this you can see it, it just snaps so if you do the furthest one away and then you grab with your cursor at the bottom corner it won't snap to it and what we're going to do is we have to line this up like so so it lines up with those shelves there and I've done a pretty good job with the bed. I've lined it up nicely with that. That was just by accident. Now, you could leave it like this and you could have a big opening or you can do what I do and do another single tall section over here. And with this one, you just guess where this would be. I'd say it looks like it's around there-ish. And you've got this little gap here now. So now you can go ahead and make it a room. Sometimes the platform will disappear, but don't worry, your bed will stay in the same place. Platforms and walls don't work well together. So if I just draw this in, you can see it's deleted my platform, but the bed stayed in the correct place. So don't worry, you can go ahead and just draw your platform back in. And again, it will delete the wall, but it's easy enough just to add the wall back in. One day, I'm hoping the platform tool works without deleting walls and all this and you can see there it's all just fine and you can just go ahead and decorate and make sure to add some ladders in down the side or you can add stairs I'm gonna add stairs to this one I think I did ladders down my last one um, but I'm gonna do stairs for a change And then the last thing you want to do is test it to make sure your bed is far enough across that your sim can get into it. So I'm just going to add a door and see if my sim can get up here. 
Yep, she can get up there just fine. And she should be able to scoot across into that one. She can. And then the last thing is, is under here you can decorate it however you would like. And I did test this and you can put a bed under here also, like a single bed or a toddler bed does work underneath here. So I'm just going to show you, you can put a little single bed in here. The sim will jump out, but don't worry, it, she can get in it. Every time you do something, the sim will just jump out. Don't know why. So let's get my child sim to come over and get you to go back up there. And you can see, look, the bed works down here. This bed works up there. You can put decorations in here. You can just put a little seat and some, a TV under here or a bookcase anything like that it still should work so that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye